Okay, good thing it quick saved. So, uh, yeah, this guy said, do you seek my help? And I instantly thought of how when I write guides for JRPGs, I usually say the number one thing you should do is talk to everybody in the game. And then you can usually get all the best stuff or all these free items, etc, etc. But when you're playing WRPGs, Western RPGs, like Skyrim and Fallout and all that, if you talk to everybody, you will freaking get side quests after side quests after side quests. So it's just important to talk to the people that you have to talk to. Tips for new gamers out there. Hopefully this game doesn't Hello, freeze again. Sir. Hello. You wouldn't happen to be in the market for a home, would you? If you are, I just happen to be selling a manor located right here in Anvil. Yes. See, that's the quest that I wanted to start. And apparently I haven't played this PC version much. It says a total of eight hours. So yeah, that's not much at all. Because with well, the Xbox 360, I remember I speed ran uh, Oblivion and try to do like every single main quest and guild quest and side quest and town quest and all that and I sped run it in 60 hours that was my fastest time and I was just skipping over people's dialogue and everything so I had hundreds of hours easily over multiple files on the Xbox 360 and then on PC apparently I have just 8 hours so yeah I have a lot of stuff to do but then there's like so many freaking games I, I want to play. Manor. Yes, I'm selling my grandfather's house. Benarus Manor. If you're interested, yeah, I, saw I it. could let you have it for a modest sum. How much? I have to sell it soon as I have pressing matters elsewhere. You're welcome to take a look at it. It is located across the street from the chapel. Once you buy, you get the key to the front door and the deed of ownership. That's the deal. Would you like to buy it now? Yeah. Hey, you don't even have enough money. Oh. Stop wasting my time and come back when you do. My bad. I told you I don't. I don't even remember this file. How do you check your gold? Oh, there it is. I have two thousand gold, so I'm sort of close. I can like sell some shit. Alright, let's do some some marketing or whatever. Oh yeah, I could just look for these signs, I forgot. But yeah, another useful tip. When you're exploring, just pick up a bunch of stuff and then also get okay yeah, that's the armor. Just get as many items as you can harvested and then get the these things, the apparatuses, <laughs> and then you can just make a bunch of shitty potions and then sell them. And then also when you join mages guilds, you can steal a bunch of these and sell them for hella gold. Pro tip. A pleasure to speak with you. I have a large selection of both. Yeah, the battle axe of sparks. I'm gonna use that. You drive off. Whoops, no. I might not want to sell that. Oh well, yeah, I need a silver dagger, but not two of them, so I can sell one of those. Huh. So there's four damage and this four damage? This is also frost damage. But I can get 87 freaking gold, so yeah. And then see, his gold doesn't change. That's just the maximum he can give, give you. So um, I think it's in Skyrim and Fallout 4 or something like that. They only have a certain amount of gold per day. They, that they can give you. Ooh, that one's broken. It's not worth anything? Damn. That's the one that I'm wearing. Oh, and I have a shit ton of these stones. I can sell some of them, I guess. Uh, I like that. That seems a fair price. Oh yeah, and then just all this. It's not like you can create freaking uh, jewelry or anything like in Skyrim. I don't think you can in Oblivion. So you just sell all that shit. 
then you can't even make leather, I don't believe, so this is just useless shit. Another satisfied customer. Oh wait, I was supposed to get freaking the Perhaps repair thingies. New armor. A weapon? I have a large selection of both. Repair hammers. Thank because you in Oblivion, your armor degrades. Be seeing you. So you have to repair it. I know it's on this side. So yeah, you have to actually repair all your armor and weapons in Oblivion. And this is like a magic one. So you can't repair it unless you're a journeyman. Or your armor skill is journeyman. Because it goes like novice amateur journeyman I think and then something like that all the way up to master master is the highest and then you can do master quests for uh, like each skill I think see armor skill increase but one of my hammers broke oh another hammer broke whoops yeah I know I know See, so I broke six hammers already repairing everything that I have, but my armor skill went up. I usually should carry around some of those. <coughs> Dance of the Fire. It's worth $85? Gold or whatever? I should start selling some of these. Maybe I can get that 5,000 that I need for uh, buying that one house. It's a mage's guild. They might buy some stuff. Do they buy the potions? <coughs> yeah, right there. Well met. Nice hair. Tell me more. Your disposition is maxed also. You know about Nernroot? Good luck with your field work for Cinderian. Oh, did I already start that quest? What can I interest you in? Um uh, I wanna sell. Damage health. Damage luck. That's more like, I mean, what's the point of damaging luck? You just make a bunch of garbage potions and sell them. These ones aren't garbage. Die, there's that one. Uh, that one's good. Is this frost? Meh. Water walking. I fucking forgot about that. You just drink a potion and then you can walk on water. Can you walk on water in Skyrim? I don't think you can. Yeah, see, I already made all that money and then I can make a bunch of potions with those and then fucking sell them to that guy again and he can just give me keep giving me more and more Come gold again. and if i already joined the mages guild did i watch let's see i know i already mentioned this Good to see you. but whatever What's going on with you? yeah see it doesn't count as stealing since i joined the mages guild 
and I can take pretty much anything. There are some items that are just theirs. Take care. But fuck. Not that many. Yeah, see? I just sell them back. That's what you call beating the system or gaining the system or something like that. But yeah, there's a red hand there, so that's stealing. Stealing this guy's stuff. So I realize some people probably don't know anything about creating potions in, in Oblivion. So you need to have, I think, at least this or a pestle. And then you can add the other three to like increase the power of your potions or something like that. Anyways, you click on it and you add ingredient and you just add the different ingredients. And in Skyrim, oh, I guess you find the find out the abilities by mixing them. I don't think it's the same in Oblivion. See, you can only do the ones that have the same stuff, I guess. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, see, because you can't just put something else on and hope to find the other ingredient or you know restore endurance or whatever that's pretty much it remove that and add another one blood grass you can only mix it with this one to create stuff you can't add anything else whoops 